Numbers are all around us. We see them everywhere. They're just part of our lives. Of course, numbers can represent many different things to us as adults. But what do numbers mean to a young child? Do they actually mean anything at all? Or are they just numbers? Numbers don't actually exist anywhere, but people talk as if they do because they've, come, they've become such familiar objects for most adults you know, and parents who are talking to children. They all talk about numbers as if they exist and you can say, look, there's one on that bus. But actually, all you'll see on a bus is a numeral. You don't actually see the number itself. Now that's pretty confusing for children and it's confusing because they meet this sort of thing very early on. Numicon uses a sequence of shapes, offering images for numbers, helping children to explore and build their mathematical understanding. Numicon's multi-sensory approach, focusing on oral and mental work, inspires children to think mathematically. Well, the thing about Numicon is not only does it make numbers real for children in the sense they can touch them and see them, it also makes number relationships real for them because they can see very clearly how each next number is one bigger than the previous one okay, by the system of patterns that we use. So, what number is this one? You're right, this one's four. Should we carry on counting, Dylan? <coughs> the pattern and the relationship between numbers is a really powerful way of getting children to understand about number. It supports them with their understanding of place value and also how numbers fit together, the, the relationship between numbers on a number line, all through pattern. Children enjoy working with Numicon because it plays to their strong sense of pattern. Numicon helps children see how numbers work, giving them the confidence to persevere. And with this growing confidence comes deeper understanding and higher levels of achievement. They like handling the shapes, they like playing with them in the dough, in the water, in the sand. They just see it as part of what's in their everyday um, experience really. But then when we come to use that as a teaching resource, they're very familiar with it, they're very confident with it. And it gives them something to play with, it's not an abstract um, piece of paper and a pen, it's something real that they can use and make connections with. Working with Numicon encourages children to reason, to think logically and systematically as they apply their understanding in many ways. Excellent. Can you find me an even number? Fabulous. And because children show their understanding in what they do, Numicon helps teachers see their thinking. It's guesswork really with numbers unless you can actually see what they're doing and how they're working things out. It's a way of seeing how their minds are working and seeing how they're, they're able to put those connections together. The Numicon approach lends itself to a variety of teaching situations and can be used across the ability range. Numicon is a resource for all children. Well, one of the very exciting things about Numicon is that its use isn't just restricted to young children working with number ideas. There are a lot of problem-solving activities that you could give children of any ability, including the gifted and talented, that will actually challenge them to think very hard mathematically about what we're asking them to do. You have a, have a good look at it. Look at this and where children are struggling, perhaps needing intervention, research evidence shows that Numicon can make a significant difference. That's it. Well done. Good. Very good. 
of all the children that we have data on who did our program, they all made progress and some of them made exceptional progress, more than we would have expected. So a child who got nine marks going on to get 40 plus marks over a 10 week period, I think that's pretty impressive. It's not everybody and obviously if a child starts at a really low point, they've got more ground to catch up, but the thing is they were catching up. Numicon offers many kinds of support for teachers, teaching assistants and parents. Training sessions help with getting started, while the teaching pack gives teachers the resources to expand their subject knowledge and use Numicon with confidence. Activity cards suggest many exciting ideas for the classroom and help teachers plan their lessons. Well, I think a multiplication particularly can be quite difficult to work out where the steps are and um, so I've looked at the cards because they break things down into very small steps. By trying out the activities themselves teachers will begin to appreciate the mathematical challenges facing young children and see how Numicon can help them achieve success. Away from the classroom, Numicon's support team is available to offer advice on products and professional development opportunities. Um, do you know how many participants would be taking part in the training? And with the growing Numicon community, the latest information, ideas and resources can be found online, helping to make working with Numicon an enjoyable and rewarding experience for everyone involved. What we're finding wherever Numicon is used is that because we're able to make numbers real for children in the sense that they can see them and touch them, this gives them a, a tremendous confidence in what they're doing. Suddenly you become more creative because you feel empowered as a teacher. So I think, I hope, I'm a little bit more exciting than I was and hopefully a lot more focused in what I'm teaching. So the children are more focused and more aware of the small steps and what they need to do next. I would find it very, very difficult to teach without it now, so that kind of indicates how important it is to me. I think you can do so much visual stuff with it that it's crazy not to do it. <laughs>